fibers. I do not do personally for mastectomy and all pec block, but some of my colleagues in addition to doing is paravertebral, they do is pec 2 block to cover for the axillary clearance. I do is 2 level paravertebral, but that also works. Uh, you do as well, Billy? For breast. For breast with axillary node clearance? Yes, yeah, single level paravertebral plus pex 2. Pex 2, he does as well and it seems to work. And the theory behind that is if they are going through the muscle as well, that reduces this uh, basically the pain inflicted by cauterizing of the muscle as well. Mm -hmm. So basically the landmark for pec block, oh you have turned the screen that way, yeah. Anyway, it will be fine. So it is basically almost same as like you do for infraclavicular block. Infraclavicular is lateral, but you just slightly basically move your probe a bit more medially and try to see for the thoracoacromial artery. Can you see in the center the between pec major and minor? Um, for us, can you point them out? It will be easier. Yeah, yeah. In the center, there is a small artery. Between pec major is the top one and pec minor is the bottom one, yeah. So that is, that is your landmark to go is, but always identify the artery, you do not want to go through the artery, yes. Mm -hmm. Basically in that, again it is a plain block, if you put 10 mils of local anesthetic in that plane and if again see the lateral and medial spread, that is enough. So that is pec 1 block, anterior part, so what you do is slowly move your probe as if you are going towards the axilla. Yes, so what see the change which is happy, happy appearing now, yeah, oh sorry first of all is to identify that is cephalad, that is fine, okay. You can see the ribs now, yes you are right. So what is pec 2 block then here, let me just get a bit of jelly here, yeah. So what is the pec 2 block, you are still uh, uh, seeing the pec uh, 1, pec major muscle pec minor, but what else you are seeing here on the top of the rib, the muscle, the muscle here. yeah, so the what that is what muscle it is, latissimus hmm? dorsi will come is laterally here, yeah, on this side, yeah, La latissimus dorsi will come there, me sorry medially and teres major will come is basically laterally. Yes, so you lose the pec minor muscle, that is was dorsi and if you go on more laterally, you will see the teres major muscle. Uh, this is not, this is not a, this is hmm? the latus anterior. Yes, yes, but uh, on the basically the medial side, what you do is basically turn that way around, that is serratus muscle there, just above the rib, yes. This is the serratus muscle. Yes, above the rib is the serratus muscle, but laterally is your teres major if you go more widely, I need to have a bit more jelly here. Can you give me a bit more jelly? Yeah. So that is basically on the anterior axillary fold if you are, that is the serratus muscle there, yes, on the top of the rib. Mm -hmm. So where you are going to put the local anesthetic for the pec 2 block then? So between the rib and the muscle, isn't it? The between? Um, uh, sort of above the rib but below the muscle. <coughs> above the rib, below the muscle at this level. So in addition to ca catching the <coughs> basically the intercostal nerve hopefully, what else you are going to ca catch at this level? What other nerves run in that plane? Shouldn't it be some, some of the branches of the anterior um, Nerve, sort of I should have got my anatomy. Anyway, but thoracodorsal nerve and long thoracic nerve of bell run in that plane. So some of the surgeons do not like this block, especially if they are doing his LD flap and all. Whether they have caused any injury or is it because of your block, they have got the winging of scapula. Yeah, yeah because you are catching up is even the long thoracic nerve of bell and thoracodorsal nerve as well. When you go more laterally, almost in the mid axillary line, which will be more superficial now, can you reduce the depth now? 
Yes. Now you see is the basically more depth reduction. This. Yeah, that's fine. So now you are seeing is basically the serratus muscle. Yes. So that's the ribs and serratus uh, muscle. Which yeah. So that level, if you do, is, is that is the serratus plane block. And it, you are catching mostly here is the intercostal nerve. Mm -hmm. And what branches you are likely to catch when you are doing is in the mid axillary point is the lateral cutaneous branch. Yes? Yeah. Lateral cutaneous branch of the intercostal nerve because they are given at the angle of the rib. Yeah. Yes? And hopefully, with the volume of local anesthetic which you are injecting, it travels in that plane and catches the anterior cutaneous branch, hopefully. Okay. But main thing is lateral cutaneous branch of the intercostal nerve. No, yeah. you do it so far laterally. Yeah. yeah. In the mid axillary line, if you see the Blanco article, he starts from here mm -hmm. for the pec major, pec one block, yeah. then you go into the anterior axillary fold, yes. Um, and then you do is the serratus below the serratus muscle that is again going back there let me let us go back because it's but if it's a plane block shouldn't volume just be adequate to if you're in the right plane yeah if you then so uh, the big one yes go on go on. that's the serratus muscle appearing now yes pec minor has gone mm -hmm. Yes, you were asking something. No, if why? I mean, can we do the pick one and pick two block as well at the same time? You can do the pick one and pick two. Yeah, you put first is five, m five to ten mils of local anesthesia in pick one plane, and then go deeper on the anterior axillary line. Move your probe down, mm -hmm. and then go below the uh, bel uh, below the serratus muscle. This is then serratus minor is finished here. Yeah. Sorry. This is the big minor finishing there, yeah. yeah. And this is here. Serratus here. Inject there, so inject some here and then advance yeah. a bit more yeah. between between the rib and the serratus. Yes. Muscle. You basically just like ESP block, you lift is the muscle from the rib. Okay. You will again see lateral and medial spread, and when you go in mid axillary line, it is only the serratus muscle now there. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is the t basically the tendon of teres major, yes. All right. Mm -hmm.